So in the heart's conducting system, there are a few parts that you should be familiar with first. The SA node, the internodal pathways, the interatrial pathway, the AV node, the bundle of His, the right and left bundle branches, and then the Purkinje fibers. So what happens here is that an impulse is initially conducted at the SA node. And the SA node is known as the pacemaker. It sets the beat for the heart. This impulse then travels down these pathways, the internodal pathway and the interatrial pathway, so that this impulse can travel to both of the atria and help in the contraction of the atria. After it travels down there, it eventually converges at the AV node, which sort of slows down the speed of the impulse, which is necessary because we need to let the atria finish contracting and allow the blood to travel into the ventricles before we start contracting the ventricle. So there's a little pause there, and then after, it travels through the bundle of His and down the interventricular septum, it travels down the right and left bundle branches, so it splits into two sides so that we can go to both sides of the heart. It travels down to the Purkinje fibers, and then from the apex of the heart, this impulse travels upwards to the myocardium, the ventricular myocardium, upwards so that it's uh, the impulse is being being pushed from created from the bottom towards the top of the heart, sort of pushing the blood out towards the aorta and also the pulmonary this artery. This is just an ECG. It is the events of a single cardiac cycle and it's just basically recording the electrical events of the heart. So there's three important parts in this. We have the P wave, we have the QRS complex, and the T wave. The P wave is when the SA node is depolar is sending an impulse and depolarizing the atria. Afterwards, we have the QRS complex, which signifies the uh, depolarization of the ventricles, but also the repolarization of the atria. And then afterwards, we have a small wave, a T wave at the end, and that signifies the repolarization of the ventricles.